Enter the contest regardless. 30 days of subscription time just to make sure they get back to the Fallen Empire. So even if your name isn't called, you're still gonna get some prizes. I'll talk about what the top three is gonna get in a minute. You guys ready for it? Are you guys ready for it? All right, so again, this was based on judges' scores, and I'm gonna do it in no particular order. If I call your name from over there, please come up on the stage. So the first person who makes it into the top three based on the judges' scores, Matthew C. as the Jedi Sentinel. Come on up on the stage, Matt. Come on up on the stage. All right, so first off, pose for your picture, because this will be what people are using to vote for you. I'll wait while the picture's being taken. Deb's got this. Don't worry, guys. All right, Matt, come on over. So, stay right here. You've made it into the top three. You don't know who your, who your competition is yet, but there's two other people over there who are gonna go against you. What do you think your chances are? I think they're pretty good, but everyone's got, <laughs> everyone's got awesome costumes, but I'm look, just looking forward to seeing the outcome. All right, so I'm gonna pick one of you. Terrace, why'd you pick him? Why the top three? Just the overall presentation is awesome. Uh, the costume looks like you walked out of the game. It's great. All right, let's give a round of applause for Jedi Sentinel, our first top three. Come here, right there. Right there. All right, second into our top three. Again, in no particular order, you may know who he is. Alexander D. as Arkin. So Arkin, go ahead and look at the camera so you can pose for your picture for that'll be on, up for your online voting. So while, while he's doing that, Tate, how, how did Arkin break into the top three? We were all really impressed with how he found materials using everyday items to, to cohesively make this awesome. Come on over, Arkin. So, you know one of your competitors. What do you think your chances are in the top three? That one in three. <laughs> Even I'm gonna applaud that answer. You had to wait over there, Arkin. All right, for the last slot in the top three, again, by judge's choice. And again, reminder, after we've announced the top three, we're gonna be working on getting up some online voting. So you, here in the room and at home, will be deciding who actually wins tonight. The last person into the top three, Christina P as Melena Kieran. Strike a pose for it, Deb. Michael Backus. How did Milena break into the top three? You're leaning out of the, you know what, you should be in the picture. Maybe you'll increase your odds. I, I don't want to ruin the odds. It's <laughs> against anyone. Would you say never tell you the odds? Never tell me the odds. No, I, I think the thing that brings us all together is Star Wars. Um, the fans' passion, like, like this year has actually been amazing for us. Um, Star Wars Celebration, San Diego Com uh, Comic Con, Gamescom in uh, Cologne, Germany. Um, I've never seen so many passionate fans about our game, about Star Wars in general. Um, she did an amazing job, but also she's a reflection of the community, and we really, really appreciate that. So not only is she creative, she pulled it off. She pulled it together. Malaya, you do know what your competition is because they're standing behind me. What do you think your chances are? I don't know. I, I guess I'll go with one and three also, but got a lot of people in my guild pulling for me, so I hope you're watching the stream. Come on, guys. Have fun. All right, so if I could have the three of you come up on stage and stand right here. Now, while they're here, let's in no way underrepresent how amazing the other contestants have been this evening. Like, I can tell you, it took us a long time listening to these guys talk about who's going to make it into the top three. This was a very, very, very hard decision. So those of you who, are, who haven't made it into the top three, please take a walk across the front of the stage and let's give them a very, very, very loud round of applause. So, let me give you guys a little recap uh, for those of you that are just tuning in or waiting. So, 
Gone through the first round. Seven contestants have been narrowed down to three. The three here before you, they've all been done by our fine judges hiding in the back back here. So let me tell you guys, amongst these three people, they're going to be winning well over $1,000 in prizes tonight. Not to mention some pretty rare stuff. So let me tell you what the prizes are that are up for grabs for each contestant. First place is going to win a $500 Amazon gift card. One year of subscription to Star Wars The Older Public. Four, over 14,000 cartel coins. Every stronghold in the game. Plus, a whole bunch of mounts and vehicles that I'm not going to name, but I am going to name one. For those of you who follow our game, this is amazing. The winner of our competition tonight is going to get a mount called the Corellius Baron. For those that don't know, this is a mount we took out of the game three and a half years ago, two and a half years ago, and it is impossible to get. It is one of the rarest vehicles in our game. The winner is going to get that. Second place is going to get a $250 Amazon gift card, six months of sub time, over 5,000 cartel coins, and the Tatooine Stronghold, along with a bunch of the mounts, which I'll, I'll name for you later. And last but certainly not least, third place, we'll get a $100 Amazon gift card, four months of sub, and over 2,000 cartel coins. Does it sound good? Are you guys excited? So let me just do a let me just do a little a little easy sampling here. By a round of applause in the room, let me see what you guys are thinking. Milena. Jedi Sentinel. My twin brother Arkin. I'm gonna be really honest, I don't I don't know. That was really close. I couldn't that was, yeah, that was, that was exceptionally close. So, let me ask the judges. We got all three contestants up. Your, vote, your votes don't matter now. Now it's the people who are going to choose. If you have to make a prediction, I'm going to put you on the spot. That's not fair. Michael Backus. Uh, there's a five of First Republic Trooper in the back that's going to come out and win it all. Is that, is that your answer? Yeah. He's going to yeah. take it all. How many, how many, how many non-answers am I going to get? Tate, what do you think? I definitely think each person here has a 33 chance of Hey, Tate, is that 33 repeating? Of course. Terrace? I don't know. <laughs> All right, la last thing I'm going to do. So again, those of you at home and those of you in the room, you're going to be voting to decide who's winning. I can see phones in your hands ready to vote. You have to make a plea to the people at home why they should choose you to win tonight's cosplay contest. Yeah. Like, Why should they pick you? I made everything myself. I put my heart and soul into this. I've been playing this game since beta. I have one of every class at 60. I read every week. What can I say? I love the game. I've been playing it and I am never stopped. And I love everyone I, I play with and I love the community. Alright, that's, that's a pretty good reason, I would say. Jedi Sentinel. That's, I'm, I'm sorry that you have to go after that. <laughs> Tell me what you got. I mean, if I won today, that would just give me a reason to, you know, put school on the back burner and come back to play. <laughs> I'm not sure dropping out of school to play the older public is something I can endorse, but I appreciate it nonetheless. <laughs> Arkin, my exceptionally tall twin brother. Tell the people why they should vote for you. Like my lovely red-headed companion here. I've been playing since well, when I first learned about the game years ago, and yeah. I haven't stopped except oh, for school, and I love it. I love it, and I wouldn't but be here unless I loved it. So, yeah. I feel like if I'm learning of any problems this evening, it's that clearly school is a problem. We, gotta take, we might have to take care of that problem. Alright, so. What we're going to do is we're going to open up online voting. So for those of you at home and those of you in the room that want to vote, you can go to www.surveymonkey.com slash r slash Swotor Cosplay. There will also be a link below me and in uh, chat that will also let you know where you can go. Again, vote for these three candidates. Make sure to get there. You are going to be the ones that decide this. While we're tallying the online votes, we're going to kick it back to Ash. She's going to spend some time with our judges, talk about how the contest has been going today. So without any further delay, get online and vote. Back to you, Ash. Thanks, Moscow.